Hi, I'm Julie with the Mom Survival Guide, and I'm here today to talk to you about decluttering your entryway closet. Now, I don't know about you, but being a stay-at-home mom, things can get kind of crazy sometimes. Messes pile up all over the house, but especially in our entryway closet. Why? because this is kind of the hub of our in and out process. So we have coats, we have gloves, we have hats and scarves, and we also have shoes, and they're all in this one little closet for me. So when I was growing up, we had a closet that was just like this, and it had a lot of shoes on the floor, just like this, and it had a lot of coats, on the hangers just like this and it would take us a long long time to find what we were looking for me personally i hate that i'm very impatient so when we have an appointment or anything like that i want to make sure that we're getting out of the house as quickly as possible so one of the ways that i do that is by keeping up on decluttering this entryway closet but also organizing it both of those together are going to help keep things in organized in a way that we can see them quickly, get to them, put them on, do what we need to do with them and get out the door. We're not late for appointments and we're not spending time running around the house looking for whatever it is that we need. Sally's extra sock or Jimmy's extra shoe. Okay, so how do I go about doing this decluttering process? I call it the five S's. So let me go over what my five S's are so that you can learn them and then have success as well. So S number one, we want to stimulate the process. What do I mean by that? You're not gonna do it if you don't have a why, essentially. There's gotta be a reason that you want to declutter and organize a space. Otherwise, why do it? So my why in this space is what I just told you. I wanna get out the door on time. I want to be to my appointments on time and I don't want to spend the time looking for the things that my kids need or I need. And if we have a lot of clutter and we're not organized, then that becomes a problem. So my why and the way I'm stimulating my process is to get out the door faster and to also find the things that we're looking for. So what is your why? So S number two, S number two is to keep it small. A small area is the trick to actually getting things done quickly. Why? Because you can stay in the same area, finish the one section that you're doing, and if you have time, you can move on to the next one, but if you don't have time, you can come back to it at a later date. You don't make a big mess because you don't have your entire contents of your closet laying out across the floor and you're stepping over it for the next week. So keeping it small is a really good idea when you're trying to declutter a space. Okay, so S number three. We're going to separate our items. I like to separate my items right in the space that I'm working in. So in this space, we're going to have four categories. Um, it can be a pile that you create. That's fine if you don't have anything to put stuff in. But I also like to have either a box or a bin or a bag or a laundry basket, whatever you've got to help. Because once you've separated everything into the pile, you don't have to do that step. Yeah, you don't have to put everything into the box afterward. It's already there. So that makes our fourth step a lot easier, which is send now. What do I mean by that? Send now just means that once you have everything into your categories, you are going to deal with them as soon as you are finished decluttering your space. Why do I not do it during the decluttering process? Good question. The reason I don't like to do it during the decluttering process is because I have a really hard time focusing on just one thing. If I walk into another section of my house that's also cluttered and needs to be decluttered, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start working on that space. 
So if I find a flip-flop in here in the middle of January and I take it up to my son's room to put it away, guess what? I'm going to wind up trying to declutter his room and then I'm going to forget that I was trying to declutter down here. So no, I like to keep all my boxes and bins for my categories in my space, sit down, work until I'm finished with that small area, to separate out everything into my categories and then move everything where it needs to go. So send now means that you are going to immediately when you're finished, take the garbage to the garbage can so it is out of your house and take the donations to the donation center so they are out of your house. Why? Because you do not want to be tempted to bring things back out. Oh, what if I need that down the road or gosh, somebody else might be able to use that you don't want to do that because that just brings the clutter back in that you were trying to get rid of. So make sure you get everything out of your house right away when you're finished with your process by using send now. And then my last S is S number five. It's sustain. Once you declutter and get all of your garbage out of an area, all the things that you don't need that need to be taken to the trash, donated, taken to different rooms, that's when you want to make sure that you organize your space. And organization does two things after you declutter. One, it helps you to find exactly what you need very quickly. You know exactly where it goes, where to put it back, and so do your kids. And two, if you have a container in the space, then you know how much will fit there. So you will no longer have piles and piles of shoes laying on the floor like this. Instead, you're going to have a space where the shoes go. You have so many that will fit there. And when they don't fit there, that either means you need to trade them out for another pair of shoes or you need to take them up to your room or store them somewhere else. So let's go ahead and get started with the shoe closet. I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what I use for my containers. So one thing that I have here is just a regular box. I have a box here that I'm going to put my move items in. It's sturdy. I can take it to a room um, or I could use it for my donations, whichever one you prefer. The other thing that I have is garbage bags. Sometimes I'll use just one big garbage bag depending on what I'm cleaning out. But in this case, since I have items that are gonna be for every family member, I'm gonna use a couple of garbage bags so that I can put each individual shoes into a bag. And then when I'm finished, all I have to do is take them to their room and drop them in there and then tell them to put them away. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through my shoe pile that's all down here and then I'll be right back to show you exactly what I did. Okay, I'm back and I wanna show you what the closet floor looks like now. No shoes or no anything else. And I'm gonna show you some of the bags that I have. So my first bag whoop, is shoes that no longer fit my daughter, so they're gonna be donated. They're still in good condition. Please do not give your garbage to the donation centers because they don't want that. They want things that are still in good shape and can help other people, so be sure that you're doing that. Now, I have a bag of trash. I had a few empty bottles of sunscreen in there that need to go. Uh, this is my move box. I have some umbrellas in here. I found a jacket that um, my daughter needs to keep in her room. And then some stuff that goes out to the garage, like a Frisbee and another, this little Velcro ball thing. So those need to go to the garage. Um, and then I filled up a few bags of shoes that need to go up to other people's rooms. So this one is actually my bag. And then I have another bag for my daughter and I have another bag for my son. We had a lot of shoes down here. So what I'm gonna do now before I decide to put um, my bench and shelves in here is I'm gonna clean out the space because we, when we have it all emptied out, that's the best time to clean and it's super easy. So let me clean this out real quick and then I'm gonna put my shelving unit in and show you just how it looks. So I'm back 
and I've followed through on all of my steps. I took my garbage out. I took my donations and I put them in my car because I'm gonna do that as soon as I finish this video. I took all of my move bins and bags to my kids' rooms and then I took my keep pile and I put it into an organizational system. So the system that I chose about 10 years ago was to have a bench in my, um, in my entryway closet so that I could sit down or my husband or my kids and put our shoes on and we weren't sitting on the floor. Um, you can find a bench just like this one at Ikea. That's where I bought mine. Granted, it was 10 years ago, but I'm guessing they have something that's similar. Um, it's very sturdy. And the only shoes that I have on there now are the shoes that we actually are wearing. So you can see that. Those are the shoes that we're wearing right now. So this whole process didn't take me very long. Um, in order for me to do all the shoes and also make the video, it took me a total of 45 minutes. But if I were to take out the video steps where I'm actually talking to you, it probably took me about 20 minutes total. And that includes delivering my bags from my categories, my move pile, my donate pile, and my trash pile to where they needed to go. So next week, I wanna to talk to you about this section. These are my hats and gloves, and this is a system that I've been using for 10 years. So it really works, and I wanna show you how to go through the things that are in there right now, declutter them, clean everything out, and then find an organization system that works for you. So if you wanna join me next week, I look forward to seeing you then. Happy organizing.